Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. A very, very disappointing run last time, but I gotta be honest with you, I accidentally hit, like, start new run, so we're just gonna continue that one, so I don't accidentally, like, completely screw up my streak. It's just an Isaac run, starting on Curse of the Labyrinth, and there is our seed right there. Like, I'm not used to, this sounds cocky, but it's honestly hubristical. I was like, I'm not used to losing, so I just hit the space bar to try to, like, exit game, but instead it just restarted, so... I guess you have to take my word that I didn't, like, crowdsource this seed or something like that. It's got Polyphemus in the first item room or something like that. It's just a, it's a random seed that happens to happen to be the one that I selected by accident. I really would have liked it if that had gone slightly differently. And, of course, <laughs> what was our principal problem on the last run? Red heart damage preventing us from getting deals with the devil. What's our principal problem already on this run? Well, it's an XL floor, so unfortunately, uh, that red heart damage that I took is going to negatively impact my ability to get deals with the devil. So I'm not super thrilled about the way that this has started. On the other hand, two item rooms with no keys and still an off chance of getting a deal with the devil. The most important thing, stop the bleeding. Fat odd mushroom is pretty good. How do we stop the bleeding? We, If we find a spirit heart, we don't pick it up yet. We wait until the very next, the, the end of this floor and the start of the next one. And we basically just don't repeat the same ridiculously stupid mistakes I made on the last run, and we should have a much better chance of winning. That last run was not bad. It was basically just like one, um, uh, one or two really good items away from actually pulling out probably some success there. I'm not gonna say it's necessarily a guaranteed win, but you know we had we had quad shot, extremely high rate of fire. We picked up a little bit of damage in the process, like. It was going well enough that I feel very sad about the loss. It wasn't like we got shit on the whole way down. I had Book of Belial. No, that was two two runs ago that I had Book of Belial, right? I think it was. Anyway. Uh, and I feel bad about that run, but every every loss, you know, you, you can't change the fact that it happened. All you gotta do is try to turn it into a learning experience to make a better results in the future and ha have more fun and uh, be stronger in the future, and that's what we're gonna do here. We can't change the past. 2020 is a really, really good start. 2020 plus Fat Odd Mushroom. Basically, I've turned this run into myself. Maybe a secret room over there. It has been known to happen. You gotta try to get something out of this instead of just, you know, trading bomb for bomb. They don't even get me started on the Bang the Bang Dicky. I would really like to uh, explore this entire floor to get a spirit heart if possible, whether it requires us accessing the shop or just finding a tinted rock or, you know, getting five cents and then accessing the shop, I don't, I don't necessarily know yet. I'll tell you what, though, I will trade a bomb for a key here. That's just good practice for the future, and with two boss rooms, I would expect, oh, there's our spirit heart. With two boss rooms, I would expect it to be famine haunts, but if it's like famine pin, I'll be so happy. And again, this is gonna be old conspiracy theory, Northern Lion picked the seed. First off, doesn't it show like a no trophies thing? Not if you do the continue bug. I don't even know if that's a real thing. Um, but, you know, I did choose, like, pretty much all the bosses except Lighted Ovum that are specific to the chest. So, the fact that this is Pin, or it could have been a Haunt, I think was not really... I mean, it was a foregone conclusion, right? It was not really that predictive. I will go back for Cuban Meat. There's no reason not to take that, except that I wanted to get out of that room as quickly as possible. So, I didn't end up uh, accidentally taking the, the Spirit Heart too early. Um, I'll tell you what, we're, we're pretty early on here, let's do a little bit more exploration. We're not normally out of these floors until like six and a half minutes. I was thinking the other day, I was thinking about Wild Wild West, as I am wont to do. Any damsel that's in distress, this is a lyric I take issue with, any damsel that's in distress, be out of that dress when she meets Jim West. I, look, did I, I didn't pick up that spirit art, did I? I hope I didn't. The, the connotations of this line are obvious. If there is a damsel in distress, she will have intercourse with Jim West. Desperado. Oh, I guess that was uh, unpalatable. The door has now been closed. Um, I did leave the spirit heart there. Good. Um, but is that really... I'm starting to question the altruistic goals that I would have expected Jim West Desperado to have in the first place. Are you literally just doing this, uh, this job for the Tang? Is what I'm trying to at least get to the core of. Would have been nice to use a bomb actually to get that... Uh, burnt penny, but maybe we'll get one over the course of the rest of the, the floor here. It doesn't say, like, any damsel that's in distress, be out of that dress after she's saved by Jim West. It was like, as soon as she meets Jim West, which I guess most of the time probably takes place concurrent with the saving, if the bad guy's doing his job appropriately. Um, I'm just, I'm just, that's the first thing he mentions. 
He doesn't go, hey, you know, my track record as a as a hero is very good. Be out of that dress when she meet Jim West. What do you think? There was a golden chest, red chest set up back there, but I really like the idea of um, picking up Burnt Penny. And there's a Tinted Rock right next to it. I didn't even notice that. Because if we get Burnt Penny, and then we manage to find some, shall we say, fires, and we will, we shall say that because that's the, you know, literal description of what they are. All we need to do is get maybe like two cents to more or less guarantee ourselves a bomb, or even one cent to get two bombs in that case, and it's working out pretty nicely. Then we can come back down here and we can say, you know, there's probably not a great chance for us to find a second secret room down here, but it's worth a shot. And we get uh, another couple of cents in the process. I'll be honest with you, that was a bit of a poor turnout, I'd say, but we got our bomb back at the very least. Now we have two of them, and we can use our bombs for other shit that's up here as well. Like, we trade a bomb for a key, which is probably a good idea, considering what I just went through. We can trade a bomb for a battery charge, which is not really that useful immediately. You might say, why not trade the bomb for the penny? You'll probably just get a free penny, but I think it's like 50-50. I would like to stack up as many bombs and pennies as possible, though, please? No? Okay. That's alright. I mean, we'll take, the, we'll take the time to shoot this here, and basically what I'm asking you to do is remember... I'm shooting all this shit now, I won't be shooting it later. So, if you want your fill of, of min-maxing, here it is, right on this floor. There we go. We only got one extra bomb as a result, but that's still okay. And we're still not really losing, and we're, we're never really losing time, but we're not really losing uh, much time relative to the 20 minute boss rush soft timer, if you're interested in that sort of thing. Picking up a lot of bombs in the process, which is extremely helpful. And of course, we could go into our uh, our shop and like blow up the donation machine, and then just get a ton of bombs. And we can use those bombs to get more um, money in the future to give back to our donation machine. But I'm not gonna mess around with any of that. It's not like higher level shit. It's just a little, little time consuming. Not really my style. We'll check all four corners here. Maybe a one more penny. Yeah, there we go. And one more bomb in the process. Should give us a pretty good shot at finding our secret room, which was not there, so it has a good chance to be here. Was not. That's okay. Picked up a nickel anyway, and now maybe I will go to our shop. Why not? You know, snowball out of control on the first floor. If we can get, like, there's options or something like that, this would be amazing. I'll take hive mind. And I'll buy a key as well. We're not looking for, um... We're not looking for an arcade on the next floor because it's going to be floor one or an XL floor. You can't really control whether or not it's an XL floor. Hive Mind is not immediately useful for us, but at half price, I think is a reasonably you know smart investment into our future. And we got enough bombs that I feel like I can justify that. And that's going to give us a Spirit Heart, which, I mean, we're probably pretty sorted when it comes to our actual survivability here. Especially when it comes to our survivability. Before our deal with the devil specifically, we got a lot going on in our favor. We'll see if we can actually swing a deal with the devil here. And I think we might have done what we needed to do in order to turn this run... Like, make, make this run the antithesis of our last run. So it does matter which one of these you kill last if you want to ensure that you get the left hand, weirdly enough. Do I want the left hand? Yes, uh, I do. Burnt Penny's been amazing for us, and uh, we would not be in the the pretty excellent starting position we were in were it not for Burnt Penny. But uh, I, I don't think its usefulness has ended, but I think left hand, its usefulness is great from the get-go. So you want to stick with that, you know, as long as possible to give yourself the best chance of getting stuff like, you know, Guppy's Head. Well, any Guppy item. Goat Head, more Spirit Hearts, etc, etc. Alright, don't like this room. Not a fan. Just focus... On one or two at a time, and as they get taken out, don't let yourself get beaten back there. Yeah, that was poor play on my part. That's alright. Half a Spirit Heart in this room is a relatively easy cost to bear. Good, we got another one. Get ready to make the rotation. Probably did, like, maybe a third of his HP there. Lucky. Lucky cube of meat action. Maybe got, like, another third taken out there. I hate this room, man. I think this one is actually worse than the, um, oh man, a Yara, perhaps? I think it's worse than the, uh, the one with the green guys that shoot blobs. Or shoot bombs, and I say it because those guys do do more damage, and they probably are a little bit more dangerous, like, 
on an individual level, but you can actually hit them all the time. So psychologically, you're like, I'm doing damage, I'm doing damage. Whereas with these guys, you're like, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, open up! And then eventually they do, but you gotta do it like twice. It's real annoying. Alright, so we're gonna be uh, probably slightly slower than Boss Rush would bear. That's okay. Northern Line, you mentioned Boss Rush every episode. Well, yeah, I mentioned LFO every episode, too. That doesn't mean I have a big old hard-on for LFO. I mean, I do, but it doesn't. it's not indicative of that. I mean, it is, but not always, you know? Joker? Joker. It's the kind of thing, like, we probably should save our Joker card for the Cathedral, but we're not gonna be able to. This early in the game, we're gonna have to pop this in a bit of a, uh... A, a pre-cathedral type era. Well, that's pretty awesome, actually, to get those battery charges. Um, but we probably shouldn't pop it yet. Tears Down sucks, obviously. We probably shouldn't pop it yet. We can get away with it because we have a reroll, but probably better to wait on it. And save it for a floor where we don't get to deal with the devil. Although, if we save it for a floor where we don't get to deal with the devil... or Sorry, if we use it now. Let's go with the exclusion principle here. If we use it now, we... Um, would get like the chance to reroll a deal twice, but it's kind of it's not really six of one half a dozen of the other. It's more like you know we don't know what's gonna be in the deal with the devil, so let's not gamble on this being a three deal with the devil item. Or sorry, three item deal with the devil um, when it could be just three red chests, which could, in fairness, be three deals with the devil anyway. But didn't need to use a key there. Probably should have used a bomb, but I'll tell you what, we'll atone for that mistake right now. Pick up two extra keys in there, and it actually struck a pretty good balance in the other direction, I guess. All of these suck. We can't afford them. They also suck. That's how I feel sometimes, you know. Walk by like a like a Prada store, and you'd be like, I can never afford this shit, but it sucks! <laughs> That's how I feel like, uh, you know, this, this is totally circle jerky. But I, I had some friends in, in high school who were, like, super into fashion. And they'd talk to one another. They'd be like, oh, did you see the, the new Louis Vuitton collection? I didn't go to a snooty high school, by the way. I was out in the middle of the fucking country. Fashion is universal, apparently. I wouldn't know. A lot of health downgrades there. Not a huge fan of that. Alrighty, then. Um, but, uh... They'd be like, yo, did you see the new Louis Vuitton? <laughs> yo. They started with yo, obviously. But then they said, you see the new Louis Vuitton collection? It looks hideous, blah, blah, blah. Like, we can't afford that shit anyway, man. But, you know, that has that has analogs in other industries as well. You know, people who had no intention of buying new games will read reviews of, of new games and be like, I'm glad that game sucks because some reason, reason, reason. Right? Or, you know, the new the new Lexus looks like shit. You're, like, yeah, well, you're probably not going to buy a Lexus anyway, but... I'm gonna take Guppy's Collar. I'm glad I didn't use the Joker card. We haven't used, like, many re-rolls at all, either. Yeah, we're about a minute short, or a minute, uh, slower than we'd like to be, but that's okay. Let's try double keys here. I don't mind. I mind a little bit now. I minded less earlier, now a little bit more so. Now we, we're in a little bit more of a comfortable position, even though it might not seem like it. We got a little more DPS, almost got, like, a 20-20-20. Now that we have this cube of meat, it's a nice help. Of course, that would indicate that Cube of Meat itself is worth as much as, you know, 2020 if you didn't have 2020, which is just not true. But it's nice to have the extra shot coming in here, along with an offensive orbital attached to it. We don't have very much HP, and we don't have crazy damage, but we do have Deal with the Devil Precedent, which is perhaps uh, more important long-term than either of those factors. Well, not, not really, but it's kind of hard to explain. It's like you're talking about your, like, Isaac's like retirement, right? You're saving for retirement. What's more important? Your, your your monthly contribution or your interest rate? Well, they're both important, I guess. That's what I've heard, anyway. Like, our uh, our deal with the devil precedent is like our... It's our interest rate, you know? It's without doing anything, that's what we're going to gain. Alright, well, I was speaking about retirement plans. Who's messaging me now? It's uh, Roomba again. I didn't even mention EU4 that time, but I was talking about... Maybe I said duck it by accident? Oh, Jesus Christ. Alright, close this up. There we go. Magic Mush? No, that's alright as well. If I get my orbital times right here, like right now, I can pretty much stand in here and take no damage, but 
We got to be careful about it. Now, this is a great situation because I can actually use my attack fly if I can get this guy to stop moving. Uh, by the way, there was never any question in my mind that I was going to take attack fly. Maybe in vanilla, I was a little bit more uh, kind of blasé about it, but I'm way more interested in offensive orbitals and rebirth. I don't know why. I don't know if they changed or I changed. It doesn't really matter in the whole scheme of things. I'm just happy that we're in the position we're in here. So, I'll use one bomb, and I, I kind of wish that I didn't even use the one bomb. Yeah, paralysis didn't work out for me. What we have to do is come back here and, and probably buy a battery charge, although now that I think about it, that's not necessary. And really won't be necessary now that we're having combat, because I will be able to get a battery charge from our boss fight anyway. Now, I don't fully expect to get a deal with the devil. I'll take the steam sale for future, future rights. I don't fully expect to get a deal with the devil here, but if we don't, we can use our Joker card, and if we do, we'll have a D6 ready for it. Let's try this. Wow. Tough luck. Probably a magic mushroom sitting down there in the middle. Alright. How we handle this is very, very simple. And I botched it already. First off, don't take red heart damage. That's a principal part of the core here. Uh, yeah, be careful. A little bit more careful than you've been being so far. And you're just gonna... You're gonna orbit... Gertie in much in the same way that your orbitals orbit yourself. There we go. Not a good fight, but we did we got out of it. And we did get a deal with the devil. And it's Whore Babylon. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it not because of what it gives us right now, but because of what it can give us if we get like a guppy's paw or something. We're gonna head down to the next floor again. And again, we're about a minute faster, or sorry, a minute slower than we'd like to be, but that's that's alright, it happens. I will sacrifice one of those black hearts right away. Have a chance here. I was hoping for this. It hurt me, but I, I'm willing to take that cost in order to in order to open that chest, and I, we must have been like a centimeter like on screen, depending on your resolution of course. Uh, it must have been like a centimeter away from actually making that bomb explode that center chest, but uh, I'll, I'll go back for it if I get the opportunity to do so. Whether or not I get the opportunity to do so is uh, going to be a good question. Got to open every single one of these. Just on the off chance, we end up getting a Guppy item. And again, Guppy's Paw is not only Guppy's Paw, but it's two-thirds of Guppy. And it's uh, two-thirds of Guppy is the name of my you know new Kevin Smith documentary. But also, it's I'm Kevin Smith in it. Um, it uh, it's a huge damage upgrade in the form of Horror of Babylon for us as well. And it would guarantee us a better chance it deals with the devil anyway, at least theoretically. Well, there's a tinted rock there. That's, you know, with our limited amount of HP and no guaranteed respawn, that's the kind of thing we'd be more interested in now. Come on with this. How many bad pills can there be? Pheromones is a good pill. But let's be honest, it's, it's a good pill in the way that, you know, you're happy to get free steamed carrots with your meal. You're like, well... It's good, don't get me wrong, but it's steamed carrots. Tech point five is amazing. Like, it's not like they're giving you, like, a free ice cream sundae or free onion rings or something like that. You mean, like, bread, Northern Lion? Don't ever shit-talk bread to me ever again, okay? It's the bastion of every meal. The, the true star of the table is the bread, if the bread's good. You pull that shit again on me, mate, you see what happens. Pandora's box, depths one. I think I'm gonna ignore it for now. We could re-roll it. I think it's in our best interest to just not. And instead, we will we'll save our. Well, I mean, we didn't have any money to spend on it anyway, but we got the compass instead, which is a little bit more of a guaranteed effect. And I'm not getting rid of the D6. It's it's too valuable for me, especially when looking for very specific deals with the devil. Not too specific. Oh, brim, brim, mom's knife? I wanted brimstone. No, not like that, but... Nice little clutch dodges in here. A little proud of myself. Boss Rush dream is fading away. That's okay. Nothing wrong with that. We can make this run work without it. We do technically have a teleportation card, but I'm going to be using the Joker at the first available opportunity to use the Joker. It would help if we had like a little bit more HP, Spirit Heart or otherwise, but I'll live with it either way. we got to be getting close to this boss room. 
Yeah. Oh, there we have the compass, of course. I could have just checked for myself. Now, there is a tinted rock back there. I'm, I guess I'll tell you what. Since we're not going to worry about boss rush, it's a little too late to care about that. Um, we'll go back for that tinted rock. I think it's a, a smart plan. Yeah, probably. But first, I really don't like our odds of getting this deal with the devil, but it's a theoretical possibility, so let's see if we can swing it. Stand still. Oh, man, that would have been the perfect opportunity to actually get some attack fly damage. This one should be pretty okay as well. Yeah, there we go. Monstro 2 is still, uh, still pretty predictable. Not quite as easily gameable as it used to be, which is a damn shame. I always look forward to the Monstro 2 fights. It's kind of like the easy rooms. At least until you had two of them, in which case you tore whatever hair you had left was out. In a way, I'm actually happy that we used our Joker card for this. Because even if we... Um, even if we... left here without fighting Krampus, like we left Krampus behind, would we not just have still a chance to fight Krampus later on? And this is pretty much what we need right here, isn't it? I think we'd still pretty much, like, fight Krampus later on. Or at least have a chance to. So to, to knock this out is awesome. Plus it gave us one of the items we needed. And it's an item that we I've, I forsook it last time. And I think I ended up regretting it as a result of it, to be honest with you. So we're going to keep coming down here. Can't believe I didn't get hit there. I probably deserved it. Deserved to get hit, that is. I'm realistic about it. Let's check this out. Not really... I, I mean, I'm surprised that that worked out. Let's put it that way. I wasn't really expecting much of a payout at all, but we got... Uh, we did all right there. So there is a Tinted Rock plus Red Chest. If this has, like, Guppy's head in it, I'd be so happy. Spirit Heart. Probably helpful. And uh, I'm not really thrilled about the fact that we got three uh, spiders there. Forgot what animal that was momentarily, but three spiders is okay when you have hive mind. That's a it's a real reasonable amount of damage. I think this is probably our secret room. I've made mistakes before in my life. Let's go uh, far right here and just hope for the best, I suppose. Any moment now, we will be there. This is a winning run. It's not a one run, but it's a run where if if you were playing this, you out there in TV land, yeah, I'm talking to you, Nathan. I love <laughs> whenever I address the audience, I like to I like to just throw in one random person's name. Because we, we're dealing with like a, a fairly large crowd of people here. I know that somebody out there is gonna be named Nathan, and it's gonna freak him out a little bit. What are the odds he choose my name? Not very high, but from my perspective, there's a lot of people out there. It's a very easy way to ensure a little bit more engagement on my part. Anyway, uh, I would expect Nathan's out there to be winning this run. Matthews? I don't know, maybe maybe you could beat Shoal on this one. But the Nathans out there, the Nathans of the world. They're gonna be B-O-T-C. Ballin' out of the control. Okay, I'm not good with acronyms. Just want to do something special for all the Nathans of the world. Now we're in the Horror Babylon state. I actually forgot that that was a thing that we had access to. So we're going to gain a lot of damage as a result of that, and that's going to get even better. Ideal setup. Long walks on the beach. Guppy's paw. And an HP upgrade preceding Guppy's paw from our boss room. Good. Okay, what? Yeah, gotcha. We gotta try for it. In hindsight, maybe we didn't have to. Still got a penny out of it, though. I mean, it's not really that much in comparison to what we lost in the whole scheme of things. But it's something. They're not all dead? Oh, there's still one little torso up here. We'll go back for that key. I can't forget it, it's a dead end. If there's any situation in which I'm liable to remember, it's when I'm forced to pass it by again. Probably have been situations that have not worked out like that, but... It's okay, it's okay. Great stuff. Good job. You can do it. Super duper! We got no issues here. Except for our, you know, 
crushing lack of HP, and of course the fact that all of us will die one day. Unle I'd be, oh, I'm gonna be so pissed. You gotta promise me, all right? If you're watching this, there's like a point zero one. That's eh, way lower than that. It's like point zero 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 one percent chance, like one in a. 10 million or something like that, that the first person who will live forever is watching this. I'm not saying it's likely to happen. I'm saying it's unlikely to happen. Have we been to our item room on this floor? I can't see shit, Captain. If you are that person, I want you to remember this. You're, maybe you're like 13, 14 right now, but you're above that, whatever they call it, like the eternal life escape velocity for when modern medicine enhances the average lifespan longer than one year for every year that passes by. If you're the first person to live forever, try to bring me back, man. I don't want to go. You're gonna, if you're 13, 14, you're gonna have a family. Probably, at least, if that's something you're into. You're gonna have, you're gonna have kids, and, you know, as you live forever, those are probably gonna be the people that you're thinking about. But I want you to remember a promise that you made to a certain YouTuber back in, uh, back in 2015, thereabouts. To, to, if you live forever, spend at least like a hundred years endeavoring to find a way to bring him back. He'd be very grateful for it, I can promise you that. If one of you, if I die and one of the people watching this video lives forever. I mean, li living forever, man, a lot of people say they wouldn't want to live forever. I'd like to live, for, uh, probably at least. It depends on the, you know, if you can live forever at, with, with like the body of like a 60 year old. I know for many of you, you were probably expecting me to say no there, but you know, 60 is not that old anymore at all. Um, if I could live, if I could guarantee eternal life, and you know, eternal life was kind of the norm, and I'd have a reasonably good quality of life, absolutely. If I had to live in the body of a, a present day, like a 110 year old for eternity, and it was never gonna change, I'd be a little bit more. I'd give it some second thought. I'd love to take Pentagram, but I gotta take Guppy's head. Or Guppy's uh, hairball. So we're Guppy now. If we reroll that shit, we get Guppy's paw, Guppy's tail. And we'll, as we'll take Guppy's tail? Like, we could get by without Guppy's tail, but it's not that big of a deal. We have nine lives anyway. Is, you know, I, I understand the logic behind it. You don't want to live to see all of the people that you love die, necessarily. We, are, we already went in that curse room. At the same time, living forever sounds pretty cool. And if it's one of those things where it's not like, you know, hey, you know, you just graduated from high school. Do you want to go to college? And you're like, oh, I'm not really interested in it right now. But you can go back when you're like 25 or something like that, like that right? You know, that's that happens all the time. There's nothing to be ashamed about there. But if you miss the boat on, like, eternal life, it's like, well... All right, goodbye. I'll I'll see if we're gonna, we're gonna be over here in eternity. So I hope you don't regret your decision because you're literally making the decision to erase yourself needlessly from existence, forever. And we're gonna live forever, forever young. Maybe not young, but anyway, that was a smart play on my part. Am I? I'm, I feel like I'm crazy here. Boss room's this way, maybe. There it is. Okay. Obviously, HP is a little bit of a sore spot. I forgot, by the way, that when we respawn, we'll respawn with red hearts. So there's a case to be made for taking Guppy's hairball, or sorry, Guppy's paw. Even though it would literally kill us to take it. I'm gonna stick with what we got. It's it's weird enough that I like it. And you'll be like, you know, promise me you'll remember me. And you'll be like, well, I mean, I've never lived for eternity before, but, you know. I remember like 8th grade graduation, we'd be like, never forget about the memories we had in Smirnoff High. And, well, it wouldn't be called High, wouldn't it? Would it? But, um, you know, and then you get into high school, and like two weeks later, you're like, I've forgotten pretty much all those memories. You think that's what it would be like to live forever? You'd be like, don't forget about me. Like a thousand years later, you'd be like, we were great friends, but like, I got other shit on my mind right now. This is... People think I'm being a downer about it. I'm not. I'm just being realistic. It doesn't make me feel bad to say it necessarily. I think it, you know, I guess it's not even about whether you remember them forever, is it? It's about the them being, uh, them feeling that at the time of their death. And that's that's the last time that that'll matter. But there's a little, little macabreness to that, isn't there? By the way, if we die here, actually, we can pick up that HP upgrade and have a little bit more HP if we're not going to be in the Horror Babylon state anyway. That seems like a reasonably good choice. But I'm actually, even though we have low HP, I'm fairly confident that we're going to be able to survive on this life uh, because we've got great damage, 20-20, Tech.5, and Hive Mind. Hive Mind plus Guppy is just going to be 
absurd for us. Definitely, I can spy a good use for our reroll here. Uh, it's it's a risk that I'm not willing to take. Cause it, not because it could have fucked up our damage, but because well, d d like indirectly, yes, it could have fucked up our damage. That's what I was concerned about. Could have ruined uh, our horror Babylon state by giving us HP, which I am not interested in. 48 hour energy. I should have saved instead of using, uh, but I was like, I've got to save this other card. And then I remembered that that other card was the fucking two of diamonds. Who cares? Doesn't matter. But that's okay. Had we used that on the chest, though, we'd be in a better position, obviously. Oh, well. Yeah, this is a ton of damage. This, It's an unlosable run as long as I don't fuck it up, like, prior to getting to the chest. If I make it to the chest, it should be nearly impossible for me to fuck it. Just be paying out with more spirit hearts, please. Speed downgrade. Possibly, like, literally my least favorite pill to get on a run that's already won. Cause it's like you're just doing it for spite. We're gonna win. You're just you're just pissed about, you know. You just wanna slow me down a little bit. I don't want this, so we'll reroll it. I actually quite like uh hot bombs. You can use those to really good effect on uh some particular fights that we might face on the chest. Synergizes nicely with other bombs. We got another reroll back immediately afterwards. And it, not to, not that we didn't have any batteries to draw from to begin with, but you you get the idea. All right, up to the cathedral, and we are making great time now. One of those runs where a little bit slow for boss rush, but way faster than necessary in order to get to, uh, you know, finish the run within like a half hour, 35 minutes at least, at most, I guess. All right, so you are done. There's going to be a mini boss. So with the layout, I would expect that we're going to have to come from under the boss in order to make this work. Like, under into the... Well, uh, to our right. Shouldn't be a problem. Are any of these actually good? Some of them are better bads than the one I was currently holding, but that doesn't really do that much for us. I took Guppy's Tail, but maybe because we've had those luck downs, we're getting, like, no actual... Ah, uh, oh, that was bad. We're getting, like, no actual ability to open any... Oh, you know what it is? It's not that. It's because I'm an idiot and I'm still holding the left hand. Should have gotten rid of that, but actually it did give us some space bar. Or some uh, some spirit hearts, so I'm happy with that. We'll take Judgment down to the next floor. I don't know how it's going to work, you know? We could have taken the two of diamonds and should have taken the two of the diamonds. Two of the diamonds? Because <laughs> we were holding nothing, but... I don't want Maggie's Faith either. Again, good case to be made for Guppy's Paw here, but as long as we beat Isaac, I feel like it doesn't matter if we die after that point, we'll be able to win the run. Because we've done, maybe not the hard part, but we've done enough of the hard parts that we can probably, we're like, we're above escape velocity, if you know what I mean. Great stuff. We'll head down to the next floor, and I don't know. I don't really know if I want to pop this judgment down right away. What I, what, what I might wait for is uh, to get hit and then try to use it, see if it's a demon judgment, we'll get some periods of permanent Polaroid invincibility. So, Luckfoot I will definitely take for the luck upgrade. Book of Secrets I will use to get a layout of the land here, then we'll reroll everything else. Halo is definitely good enough. This is one of the situations in which Rosary is good enough. Uh, because we need the, the spirit hearts to guarantee our own survival. But we'll keep a uh, remote detonator there. As much as I might like it, probably gonna say no. I swear to God, I'm going to test it. If we have to pick up the Bible again as a result of me failing to pick up the Bible right there, I'm going to be very displeased about the situation. Judas' Shadow, is, it's a worthwhile pickup. You know, that, that would be our best life if we had to respawn, which I'm hoping that we don't. This run, is it's a win, though. Like, it's a guaranteed win. Um, I forgot that picking up the Halo is actually bad for us because it's going to fuck up Horror of Babylon, but it doesn't matter. We did gain some damage and some tears as a result of picking it up, but I do think proportionally we probably were much better off with Horror Babylon, but hey, shit happens, right? That's my philosophy, at least. It was a regular judgment. We might as well go back and reroll something. Remote Detonator is actually a little better for us than, uh, like, the Bible, obviously, so please pay out. All right. I can't believe I didn't walk into the fire there. To, to walk in a straight line, I hit like eight buttons, and that is never a good sign. 
So we'll take Judas the Shadow, reroll the Bible into Lemon Effin Mishap. Aw, oh, yeah, okay. Not particularly useful, I have to admit. I did it again. Because <laughs> I, like, deflected, but I deflected into a bad, bad part of town. Alright, so Lemon Mishap, I'm just getting the edge of him, but it's doing the damage, so I don't really care. It doesn't matter if he's in the exact origin of the, the model there. Sweet! Hey, thanks for watching. That's a, It feels like a little redemptive. If you enjoyed the episode, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Come back tomorrow for some more Rebirth or later today. I'm not sure if this is an odd or an even-numbered episode, but it doesn't matter. There's more on the channel at all times. And of course, uh, again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.